Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada! Okada, the Rainmaker, is all elite. What an absolute blockbuster announcer that was made on Wednesday night. Part of the elite, the same group that fires Kenny Omega? Are you kidding me? Kenny Omega! The irony is thick, isn't it? Trio match. Listen to that reaction. Okada, the man whose rivalry and matches with Kenny Omega made both of them Hall of Fame legends, replaces Omega in the elite. What were they going to do? Page was suspended. Kenny Omega was out. Two of the four pillars that made the elite Pro Wrestling's unshakable super group were gone. Nicholas and Matthew Jackson had no choice. They needed a third leg. It's only something you ever need to be concerned with, Tony, given your college nickname. Be well, that as it may, the Thank new you. elite with Kazushka Okada is instantly a threat to anyone wearing trios or six-man gold. John Cruz, Liam Gray, Adrian Alanis. And John Cruz, shady character in his own right, is going to is going to hook up here with uh, Nicholas, who has just become just this terrible person. And you know what I say: you don't become a terrible person; you are a terrible person hiding underneath. It's a mask. Being a uh oh, here comes the rainmaker. The Does that sound like a terrible person? They wanted Okada. Nicholas Jackson gave them Okada. One of the most credentialed, preeminent, and tremendous superstars in all of Japanese wrestling history. No argument here. Combined seven IWGP world title reigns in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Whoa! Pick up. Everything he does so smooth. So calculated, you can tell each and every move he does, he is in command of that move. Seamless, oh, and kind as well. Okada as Atlantis. Oh, right striking. Open. Obviously, he can take a punch too, as you can see. Oh, what, a, oh, what an amazing drop kick! A thing of beauty. I would agree. My gosh. And here's something you'll like, memorable, that he broke Brian Danielson's forearm a year ago at Forbidden Ball. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. of all his accolades, that to me, the greatest of all. Snap, crackle, and pop. Liam Gray is going to make his way in with a lot of fire and vigor here, but... Good duck that time. Oh! Yes, indeed. Strength in numbers. Nicholas Jackson, Matthew Jackson, Kazuska Okada, the new elite. What lies next? Hold on a second. Eddie Kingston. What was he thinking? He got involved Wednesday night and clearly didn't learn anything from what happened. Right, one man's pride is another man's stupidity. That's Penta. Yes, a big sling blade. Another one. Penta missed a sling blade on Okada. Okada yes. elevates him. Oh, got it. Okada is incredible. Barely broke a sweat. And now it's three on two. Pinta, Eddie Kingston at the mercy of our EVPs. Oh, the elite Okada now holding up the... Wait, oh my God, the roof's coming off here. What's this 
it's all about. Look the bastard! Look who's back! The bastard pack! And pump kick! Out goes Nicholas! And now Pat Okada face to face in the ring. Take my money. Take my money. They are eating each other's forearms and not backing down. The European uppercut staggers Pac. The quickest feet in all of AEW. Maybe the entire world. Staggered gets back up. Well, this changes things. Does it ever? And now the Bucks drag Okada away. But Pat comes out to help Eddie Kingston. Help his longtime death triangle member Penta. And Pat wants a microphone. Gentlemen, I'll make this very, very clear for you. The bastard's back! And I promise you, I'm just looking for trouble. So if it's trouble you're after, you are certainly barking up the correct tree. You understand me? Boys, you want some? I'll give it you. You reap what you sow. Hey, hey, big business, Boston, next week, six-man tag, see you there. Eddie Kingston, the Continental Crown Champion, lays down the challenge for next week to the Bucks and Okada, the Elite, for a trios match of big business in Boston. And of course, that's coming up in four days. One match we do know in Boston on TBS, on Dynamite, Jay White against Darby Allin. I said my goodbyes to Sting.